make a yummy edible model of sedimentary rock. We're going to use Rice Krispies, marshmallows, softened butter, chocolate chips, mini M&Ms, pretzels, and popcorn. Some of my favorite snacks. We'll use all of these things to model our sediment. We are going to need to use the microwave or stovetop for this experiment, so make sure that you get the help of your grown up. <music> Sedimentary rock is made out of sediment, which are little tiny particles of sand, dirt, and even rock. Over time, those little particles of sediment pile up and make layers. The layers can have different colors and textures. Over a long, long time, pressure from the upper layers of sediment pushes down on the lower layers and that sediment becomes sedimentary rock. Look how each of these types of food is in tiny little pieces. I even crushed up the pretzels so they would be in tiny pieces like sediment too. To start, we need about one cup of marshmallows, and about one tablespoon of softened butter. We're going to heat these together and stir them so it becomes ooey and gooey. Then we'll mix that with the Rice Krispies to form the base layer of our sediment. Now that the pan is warm, we'll mix the marshmallows and the butter together on the heat. Take our one tablespoon of butter, with our one cup of marshmallows and put them together on the hot plate. This is gonna melt the butter and the marshmallows and they'll get really sticky and really yummy. Ooh, this looks so yummy already. All the butter's melted, so now I'm just waiting for the marshmallows to melt. Yum. Keep stirring, keep stirring. Takes a couple of minutes. Marshmallows have almost all melted. I'm so excited. I can't wait to eat this yummy sedimentary rock. Okay, I think almost all the marshmallows have melted. So now I'm going to turn off the heat. And while it's still melted, we need to mix it with the Rice Krispies. I'm gonna mix it in this glass container. Actually, I'm gonna mix it right in the pan. Whoa, sticky, sticky. Yum. This is gonna make a really good base layer for our sedimentary rock snack. It looks really good and sticky now. Oh, 
Okay, now that we have our gooey, sticky Rice Krispies, we'll put that in the bottom of our container to form the base layer of sediment. And a yummy, yummy snack. Okay, we have our first layer of sedimentary rock. Now let's add another layer. I'm gonna add chocolate chips to be the next layer. Ooh, that looks so yummy. Then I'm going to add some pretzels. So now my sedimentary rock has three layers. Let's add another layer of Rice Krispies. Whoa, this is gonna be so yummy. Oh, it's sticky. Sticky, sticky, ooey gooey. Okay, now our sedimentary rock has four layers. Let's add some mini M&Ms. And finally, I'm gonna top it off with some popcorn. I love M&Ms and popcorn. Okay, now we have, let's see, how many layers? Rice Krispies was one, the chocolate chips were two, the pretzels were three, the second layer of Rice Krispies was layer four, the mini M&M's, layer five, and the popcorn, layer six. We have six layers of sedimentary rock. Now remember what I said, over time, the pressure from the top layers of rock pushes down to make the bottom layers turn into rock instead of just sediment. So we put pressure, pressure, pressure. There we go, we have layered sedimentary snack. Delicious. Now we've modeled the layers of a sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock snack. Now that it's cooled, I'm gonna try to get our sedimentary rock snack out of here so we can see all of the layers and have a bite. This might be hard because it's gonna be really sticky. Oh, I think I got it. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. Wow. Let's cut it in half. I can't wait to see all of those delicious layers. Whoa. <gasps> wow. Look at all of the layers. We even have some rocks falling off the top. Look at all of those yummy layers. Ready to take a bite? Mmm. I love sedimentary rocks. They're yummy. 
Mm. I could eat sedimentary rocks every day. Delicious. Really good. This is yummy. Mmm.